It's up to you to keep in touch with your commanders and supporting units. That's where communications come in. They must know exactly where you are at all times to coordinate the attack. Then they'll back you up where and when you need it most. Meanwhile, supporting fire from above, from captured houses and rooftops, helps other units take their objectives. These films of the Battle of Paris give you a particularly good illustration of one of the most important fundamentals of street fighting. Keep above the enemy. French forces in the upper stories of buildings isolated the German units by making it difficult and costly for them to use the streets. The attack within Paris was timed to coincide with other Allied advances. So when the first armored columns reached the city, they joined the interior French forces for the final mopping up. Later on at Aachen, we got the first taste of what was to come on German soil. The Nazi plan for defense was expressed by propaganda minister Goebbels. We shall work until our fingers bleed and fight with dogged tenacity. We shall spare no means to bar the enemy's way into the Reich. Every house and every street will be a battlefield. Aachen is a city about the size of Hartford, Connecticut. We had it completely surrounded, and yet it took us nine days to rout out the Nazis. Nine days of the bitterest street fighting we had known up to that time. A perfect example of how tough the enemy can make it. There is only one set formula for success in street fighting. Get in there and mix it up at close range. It takes guts plus cunning, initiative, and training of the highest order. The book gives you the fundamentals. Learning them will tell you what to do. But how you do it depends on you and how you work out the situation at hand. <laughs> 